what is the energy about ashamed and embarrassed? What is that energy about? The energy flow of ashamed and embarrassed or embarrassment. What is that about? Ashamed and feel embarrassed. What's this about? What's the energy flow? The karmics have the evil eye on the DFDM. Okay. Ashamed and embarrassed. Okay, so I guess the karmics are feeling ashamed and embarrassed. What is this about? Let spirit be your guide. Trust what you feel. Let spirit guide you. Clear out the clutter. Yeah. Some type of clutter that needs to be cleared out. Okay. What is the clutter that was created? What is the clutter? What is the clutter about? What is this? The hawk spirit and frog spirit. What is this about? Worth. You have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. That's what needs to be guided. And sacrifice is reversed. Sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, indications. It's a sacrifice to love. Okay, so that can be the clutter. And it's in reversed. So the clutter is that they got some type of an obsession of your worth. That's what needs to be cleared. <clears throat> okay. Let me see a little bit more. Why are they trying to sacrifice an obsession? Why are they trying to obsess? What are they obsessed about? Your worth. They need to clear that. There's karmics acting up. What is this about? Yep. Eight of Cups. They need to walk away. They need to walk away. The lovers. They're obsessed with the lovers. That's what it is. Put that down real quick. They need to walk away from the lovers who is causing the evil eye. The karmics have the evil eye out because there are lovers that are walking away from the karmics. That's clearing out the clutter. Once you clear out the glutter and clear whatever is going on, you're worth Somebody, DF or DM, is starting to understand their worth. That these karmics are not worth 
the trouble. They are not worth the karmic's evil eye. It's not worth it. I'm trying to sacrifice. Yeah, they have an illusions that they think that people needs to sacrifice and walk away from you that they're trying to make it feel like you're not worth the love they don't like it because you are seeing through their illusions you know your worth but they don't like it That's what they're obsessed about. You're walking away to be with a DM or a DF. Karmics have shown their true colors. And that these karmics were trying to make somebody feel that they did not belong. Trying to make them feel in a certain way. So, let's find out a little bit more. What is that about? What is about Eight of Cups and the Lovers? What is this about? What is this about? Why they feel ashamed and embarrassed. The rainbow. Things are going to look better on the other side. What else is there? Earth. Yeah. Yeah, the Beloved careful about that there were karmics out here that were you were picking up on their dreams it's not your own that you got to be very careful of what you're dreaming about that they were dreaming coming through your dreams of trying to make you want to walk away from the lovers they're walking away because somebody finally realized that the karmics are being known of what they're doing on earth as of right now it is being known what these karmics are doing when they send the evil eye just know I'm gonna put that down actually with it rainbow better days are coming that light at the end of the tunnel is popping up Pretty much, you cannot stop someone from walking away. But it's also not a good thing that if you are having dreams of something that is not yours, it's the karmics who try to illusion you, meaning not your own, trying to cloud you, trying to confuse you, of trying to make you feel like you need to clear out the clutter they're trying to per these karmics are trying to prevent that you are gonna cut them off and walk away they try to get you to walk away from someone who you really cared about the karmics really don't care about you they don't they don't care about your worth they're obsessed and it didn't work is what I'm getting <clears throat> there's people waking up and walking away from the karmics given an evil eye that's what they probably feel ashamed embarrassed about what else is there going on with this eight of wands it's being communicated out to the universe. It is being talked about. 
that it's causing fights and conflict. Fights and conflict heavily. And the reasons why I would say, I would say there's telepathic communication going on that somebody's communicating something of what this karmic tried to do. But when you send the evil eye, you really don't need them in your energy. You don't. It will cause emotional problems, spiritual problems, and stuff that you do not want. What else is causing... What is going around so quickly? What is what is being spoken so quickly? Quick communication that turn into conflict. What is this about? I can hear you telepathy. And I said something about telepathy. That there's people communicating very swiftly. And it's going to turn into conflict. About what they were trying to do in the dream state and it's being known that the lovers are communicating telepathy and that's what's causing the karmics to want to act up is what I understand of. Because when they get caught of doing something they should have not done in a dream state. What is it? I got spam and it's probably going to turn my video off. Um... Yeah, it caused conflicts, fight, issues, problems, which lead to possibly juggling. Trying to juggle maybe somebody's life with conflict. Trying to juggle of trying to make somebody walk away is what I'm getting. Or maybe there are people who are actually seeing it for what it is of what the karmic is up to. That's probably why they feel ashamed and embarrassed. That's why they got the evil eye out because whatever they try to do, it did not work. And karmics will hurt you. They will try to cause a fight with you. They will try to juggle they will try to say anything that's not very nice. They are obsessed. And something about a sacrifice. They're trying to get somebody to sacrifice something that's not very smart. At that too. Sacrifice the energy. Sacrifice your reputation. Sacrifice how others looked at you. Trying to isolate you. For themselves. And the earth is making it known. That you need to be careful. Because if you're dreaming of something that does not belong to you. It's somebody else's dream. That's when illusions come in, meaning it's not even your own. It's clouding your judgment. And then it could be also, these karmics are not liking it. That word is getting out pretty fast. That leads to fight and conflict of what they try to do to you.
That's why they're not liking it. That's why they're obsessed. Because they try to juggle your worth. They try to make you feel in a certain way. And it didn't work. Let me see. What did they try to juggle by chance? I'm wondering. What were they trying to juggle? I want to know. What were they juggling? What, what were they doing, actually? Memorizing from your history or childhood issues regarding children. Reminiscing on the past. Yeah. So there's some here. Has something to do with your childhood. Something happened that something did not succeed. They are stuck in the past. Now, what I'm thinking is that maybe all their tricks worked in the past. And it's not. Now, actually, it took it a while for it to not work. They try to sacrifice you. They try to make it seem like you were the clutter. They try to question your worth. They try to make you feel like you didn't belong here. And that's why they're fighting. Because there's people walking away. Is there anything else I need to know about this? News of an exciting new endeavor. You use your originality or genuity. Yeah, it's exciting news of right now of what is being known that pretty much open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartful advice. So pretty much these karmics are mad. Because you're opening up your heart to, yeah, you're opening your heart and mind <clears throat> who are trustworthy and hurtful, meaning that you may have talked to somebody about a situation like this that has something to do with really deep spiritual meaning. I would say you had telepathy with somebody on a deep level. And that maybe somebody helped you to understand that now it's okay for you to open up. And that you don't have to worry about these karmics juggling. You don't have to worry about them causing fights with you. Because not everybody is going to believe a karmic. Not everybody will. Fear is surrounded money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. Okay, so whatever the karmic did or the karmics did to you, they somewhat made you lose your job. Or whatever they did, they lost their job. They were doing some type of a job that you had no clue nothing about. Why they were juggling, you cannot figure it out. They did some type of job behind your back. Yep, ego. A false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. They fear you. Why? Why do they fear you? There is something about this individual is so in fear. They're an ego. They feel negative or fear-based thoughts. They're scared of you. 
they can't ruin you. These karmics have tried to ruin you, have tried to do everything to your life, and they are scared. They're wearing a false mask. They feel like they can't open up because they feel entrapment, and that is their consequence. They feel entrapment by how the way you are. That's why they feel, they feel obsessed. And they don't surrender to pain. They try to bring you pain. They try to sacrifice you. They try to sacrifice your worth. They're scared of you. You got these karmics terrified. Plans that need revision. More going on than meets the eye. Poor timing. It is poor timing. But there needs to be more looked into it. But it's poor timing as of right now. It's poor timing. And then you got the flow. Allow me, divine, to move with the flow and respond with calmness and peace. That's what they're scared of you about. Is that really truthfully how I'm seeing this? They are scared of you. They're seriously fearing you. Because you bring calmness and peace. They can't stand that. They try to sacrifice how people looked at you. And how the way they felt about you. And your worth. They're scared of you, that you allow calmness and peace into your life, and they don't understand any of this. That's why there's a shame, feeling ashamed and embarrassed. They feel embarrassed because they don't know how to do this. In the reality. They feel embarrassed. Why are they embarrassed? About your worth. Serpent. Okay, the circle. The moon. The moon is at the bottom of the deck. Serpent. Okay. Please. Yeah, the serpent. chakras to embrace its mystery shed the old skin that you have been so attached to that's what's scaring them is because you know how to shed your old skin you know how to trust your wisdom and your transfer your transforming into a beautiful original manifestation when you shed the past gracefully life will not strip it away with great drama indeed that is something you want to avoid so that's why these people are scared of you because you're shedding the old self you're becoming a better version of yourself you know how to let go you know how to grow you know how to shed. And there's a circle here. You have divine surrounding you. 
you have pretty much why these karmics are terrified of you. You have divine circle. You have divine around you. That not even the darkness of their behavior cannot affect you. These karmics are still stuck in darkness and old habits they cannot shed. You are manifesting beautiful things. You're protected and they're not. That's why they're scared of you, but they're not going to admit it. But they do feel embarrassed and ashamed. They tried you knowing that you have the flow of divine of protection and a circle. You are in the circle of protection, loving energy, protecting, walking away. You got the divine telling you to walk away from these karmics who are not changing for the better. That you do belong here. Clean out the clutter. Away from the karmics. Energy vampires. Liars. Thieves. People who are not honest with you. People who try to start with you. People who tries to mess with you. In dream state. Emotionally, physically, mentally, verbally, emotionally, or spiritually. You're walking away. Because these karmics don't know how to love. And you're starting to see that. Straight up. You're starting to see karmics are nothing but trouble. You're... The divine. You got protection. You are growing. You're outgrowing these karmics. You may have done some work. Like I said, it might be poor timing. But there's more going on than what meets the eye. You're letting spirit be your guide. You trust your spirit guides. You trust your ancestors. You trust God. And you trust your angels. That's what these karmics fear. They can't put you back into that negativity. They can't. Once you have broken free from these karmics and you let divine come in, you let God, your ancestors, you let your intuition flow with you, you are completely dying on the inside. Everything about you, your old ways, how the way you were, you're being ripped apart. And you are shedding into the beautiful divine being who you were supposed to be, that God wanted you to be. And these karmics are somewhat upset because every bit of poison they have done to you, said to you, it is being shed out of your body. Your DNA is not what they are. Your DNA is strong as hell. And these people fear your DNA. The karmics do. And these karmics don't understand what real truth worth really is they don't understand what worth is they only know conflict trouble path chaos path of destruction issues making people not want to have anything to do with you they harp on the past a lot they don't know how to grow and stop messing with people on a spiritual level these karmics are not growing out of it. You have. They haven't. That's what I'm understanding. 
is that this is why they feel ashamed and embarrassed of how beautiful you are becoming and they can't believe it. That their dark shit used to work. Okay? It used to. Now, since there was some type of hurt that they did to you, the game has changed. You decided to start listening to your guides, your ancestors. You started listening more. You started knowing your worth more. You've probably looked up a lot of things because most people do have to look it up. Because not everybody's going to know right offhand what is what now these days. Because I'm pretty sure half of the people that I know of that have broken free from karmic, narcissistic people, they literally had to look up what they were dealing with so they could have a better understanding and not just go by what somebody says because all of us think differently. You can have a better understanding and you did. What is this circle about that they're fearful of? What is this about? Door to romance. Yeah. You've you've grown out of that. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, you have grown out of it. I like that. You have grown out of this energy of to thinking that you can be a player. You've grown out of this and you got a thinking man or woman who is shocked out of their fucking minds. They're thinking like, oh crap. This person might be a chosen one. This person has got spiritual gifts. They're, my mind games ain't playing like you literally got people in that state of mind. These karmics are thinking that their shit ain't working no more. Their fights ain't working no more. They know that you are divinely protected. They know this. And they also know that DC is lying, cheating, spreading gossip. They're probably feeling ashamed and embarrassed by them keep talking about divine feminine or divine masculine. You're just helping them to look more innocent. You're helping people to know who the real troublemaker is and not realizing it. From you running that mouth, from you thinking you can do whatever you want, I'm kind of curious. Because there's people saying that you have grown out of certain behaviors, which that is a good thing. Don't ever let nobody tell you different. If they, if they say, yeah, you've grown out of this, but your ex or old friends doesn't understand how you've grown out of being what you were before. Now what's the thinking man? You got nine of swords. You got somebody in the night meaning not so well, I don't know. It's it's the devil. It's the devil. They cannot believe how you got away from the devilish behavior. How much you've grown up. How much of what you understand. They're not liking this. That pretty much they know they're the definition of a devil. These karmics know it. And they know the devil shall not pass. And they know this. The devil fears when you have redemption or when you have done self-work. 
to know yourself worth and you got divine protection. That's what these karmics feel embarrassed and ashamed about. You got protection. And the devil is pretty much saying, okay, you quit being in the energy I put you in. I'm going to have people come out here and talk bad about you. You know, that just only makes them look really immature and really petty. Because that's the whole point. Whenever you change into a better person and you have shed your skin, you've done your work. You have an understanding with God with whatever you talked about in private with Him. How the way you want your life. The devil will come in and try to hurt you. Because you're not in that energy anymore. You have awoken to the devilish behaviors. And you're starting to understand their behaviors are not okay. There's people still asleep to it. There ain't nothing you can do about it for them. You know what I mean? Like the conflicts. That's backlashing on these people who thought they could do shit to you. It's backlashing. Any plan. It don't matter. To hurt you, rape you. Did something in the dark. That was talked about and you don't know nothing about. To hurt you. Trying to do whatever spiritually to you. It's backlashing on these people who've tried you. It's coming back on them. Not on you. Let me see. What is... What is this backlashing service... I feel good when I can help others. Yes. That's why the devil don't like. Is when you are here to be at service to help. The devil hates that. When you're at service. And what did I say? People are going to be in somewhat denial. That you're trying to be helpful. That once you're at service. And a good way to help. They're going to be put in fear mode. Like I said, everything's backlashing at these people. Everything's backlashing. They're in fear. They're scared. Because they blocked their own selves from love, the truth. And the devil will try to put you in denial. It will put fear in your mind because the devil knows you're guilty. That's where denial comes in. Ain't that something? Just pretty much just do you. Keep paying attention. Keep clearing out the clutter. Keep listening to your spiritual guides. Keep doing you. Keep listening to your divine protection. There are better days ahead. The rainbow's here. Keep listening to Mother Earth. And the dream state is being talked about very heavily. Telepathy. You are worth. You are meant to be here. You are loved. And you can shed your old ways, but some people prefer to be in the devilish energy because they don't want to grow up. They prefer to stay in the deceit behavior because they feel comfortable because they're asleep. People that are asleep are very terrifying. People that are awake are understanding we know more than what we say and what we think. We know a little bit more. People who are in denial. The sacrifice. That could also be an issue too. The devil tried. Probably try to sacrifice you. In your dream. And it didn't work. 
because you've grown to divine protection and the devil cannot hurt you once you have grown worked on yourself did your shadow work you're looking up your ancestors you're understanding spirituality and it's starting to get stronger the devil cannot really fuck with you anybody who he sends to screw with you is either going to get karma or they get judgment trust me trust me and believe that i've seen it i've seen it for myself even your enemies who have tried to do something bad upon you trust me they are getting karma they are getting judgment for it trust me they are but like i said this is why they feel ashamed and embarrassed and it won't let me go any further i wish i could but it won't let me but i hope this helps someone out there and I hope you guys have a nice day.